Hey everyone, welcome back. Okay guys, so this is video four of this uh, series. If you haven't caught the previous three videos, those links are in the description. Make sure you watch it. Video number one was how to set up a business manager and why you wanna set up a business manager versus just your ads manager. That's video number one. Video number two was how to install your Facebook Pixel. Um, we're working on this page right here. Our Pixel you can see here has been installed. Um, everything is being detected and um, we're off to the races. That was video number two, watch that one. And then the third one was a custom audience. I built a custom audience around this specific link and explained the importance of a custom audience and we went over some real live examples in the newsfeed clicking on other people's ads and checking to see if they had their their facebook game up and unfortunately one of them didn't so make sure you watch that video that was part three this is part four this is where it all comes together this is the um the custom conversion and i'm going to explain why you want to simply uh, set up a custom conversion um and really the the, the importance of it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm going to log into this one right here and i'm going to just simply bring up the landing page so if i come over here this is a buddy of mine shout out to dan um crushing it in the medical device uh field and just getting started with kartra if you guys have not taken a look at Kartra. I don't know what the hell you're thinking. Um, Kartra is the one software that I use for my entire online business, from landing pages to my email automation, to my online calendar, to my affiliate marketing, to hosting my membership course, um, to uh, um, creating digital products and selling eBooks and membership courses all through this one platform so there's a 14 day trial below profit with Kartra dot online um, set up a 14 day trial and simply compare it to everything you out everything else you you got going on your 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 landing page software your email automation software your freaking online calendar software your your online course software that's already four softwares just the sound of it gives me a damn headache so Compare it to Kartra, set up a strategy call with me, and I'll walk you through it and help you get off to a fast start. This is the Kartra platform. So in here, again, we're creating our landing pages. What I just pulled up um, is the landing page and the um, thank you page, okay? So as they opt in, they come to this thank you page. Now, these pages are not complete at all. Um, Dan is still working on them, but the link is up, and we're able to still do what we need to do. Um, in the ads manager side of it all. So this is the landing page. This is the thank you page. So again, apply this to your business. What are you currently running ads for? Are you capturing leads? Because if you are, this is the video you wanna pay attention to. If you're trying to make sales, you have an online e-commerce store and you're trying to drive traffic to a product to make a sale, this is the video you want to you want to you want to pay attention to um, because really it comes down to it comes down to running your facebook ad right so let's just go to the news feed let's just kind of scroll through and see what our friends are up to and see what's going on and all of a sudden we come across a sponsored ad okay this right here different products and it's so funny because i did a video yesterday's video you'll see that that's part three that link is in the description. I did a clear example of this 5G. I'm coming on, you know, hours later to do this next video for you here, and I'm seeing a 5G ad. Blows my mind on how effective and how powerful and how on point these marketers are. These guys know what they're doing. Um, shout out to Search These. Shout out to 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 uh, Galaxy. Shout out to 5G because again, in yesterday's video, that's part three. I'm 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 showing you how to create a custom audience. I'm using their ad as an example. Now, hours later, as I do this part four. I'm seeing the ad in the newsfeed. That's freaking amazing. Like absolutely amazing. That's the power of retargeting. That's the power of your Facebook pixel. That's the power of custom audiences. So watch yesterday's video part three if you did not already. Um, but this right here, again, another perfect example. These guys, I click on learn more. I come to the actual uh, product. Let's say I am, and see these guys, they're running it straight to, five different products. If I were them, I'd run it to one product. I'd be running it to that one product that um, that, that person, and look at that, they, they 
I don't know what these, this, this is another example of what not to do, of what not to do. I'm seeing an ad, I'm clicking on it. I click on this specific one and they're sending me to a Yahoo search. Like, dude, these guys are blowing money. A Yahoo search, I click on the product, a Yahoo search. Now, unless these guys have all of these top links and their affiliate links and they have their, their Google SEO game down packed and they are no matter what link i click on it's their affiliate link and they're cashing out then they're on some gangster shit but chances are they're not t-mobile and they could be these two these two affiliates right here but who knows but if they're not holy crap they're burning money like burning money i click on that again a yahoo i've never seen this ever in my life they're taking me straight to a yahoo search now again whether it's Yahoo, whether it's Google, if they have their SEO game down, then these are their affiliate links. But who knows? Who knows? They could. They could possibly be doing that. And if they don't, then they're, they're for sure burning money by sending me to Yahoo. What the hell? I've never seen that. Um, let's, let's look at another ad. Let's look at another ad. Let's scroll down. Let's see if we can find any other random sponsored ad. Okay, here we go. Here's a sponsored ad. Okay, so I click on learn more. And that is a lead form. Okay, so what they're doing here is this is what you call a Facebook lead generation form, which that's another way to capture leads. It's not the way I'm showing you in this in this example over here. I'm 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 showing you conversion ads, conversion ads to capture leads. Um, and what we're going to do in this video is set up a custom conversion. But I want to give you an example sponsored okay so here goes capital one shopping i click on learn more and let's see where these bozos take me add to chrome they're trying to just get me to click on they're trying to just give me to, to to download or to to install a a, a a a chrome plugin which that's not what i'm looking to do so let's see if we can veeam software we click on download okay so they're taking me off of facebook Okay, perfect example. Here's a good example. Okay, so again, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna set up this custom conversion. Okay, so look, here's how here here's the whole objective. And again, apply this to your business. Super powerful. If you're in any type of business where you're trying to capture a lead or make a sell, this video is for you. Facebook custom conversions. You have to make make sure that you got all this stuff you know popping before you go and run your your next facebook ad set up your custom conversion but again watch the previous three videos because all that leads those three videos lead up to where we're at today which is video number four okay facebook custom conversions as these people right here veeam software they're running ads to capture a lead i click on download they bring me straight to this lead form right here okay here's what a custom conversion is as that as as we click and we come here we fill out the form once we fill out the form and we click on download now we then go to the thank you page let's just call this the thank you page okay so i go to the landing page i enter the i enter my information into the form i click on the button i then come to the thank you page it is all about the thank you page our whole goal is to get people to the thank you page you have two goals you have your goal you have your goal and then you have your ultimate goal the way i always like to explain it is around your ultimate goal facebook doesn't want to know your goal your goal is to get them here right your goal is to get them to click on the ad and come to the landing page that's your goal but what is your ultimate goal your ultimate goal is to get them to fill out the form and come to the thank you page that's your ultimate goal. That's what we're paying for. That is a Facebook custom conversion. We have to let Facebook know about this link right here. We have to tell Facebook, hey man, the only reason why I'm willing to pay you is to get me people to this page. And the only people on the entire planet that will ever get to this page are people who fill out the form, right? Very clear, very, very clear, very, very specific. I'm telling Facebook exactly where I need people to go and it's on the, and, it, and it's the thank you page, okay? So here's how we set it up. We're gonna copy this link. We don't need the www, we don't need the HTTPS, we only need the URL, we only need that right there. We're gonna copy that 
and then we're going to come into our ads manager. Okay, we're going to come to the dashboard. Just go ahead and click wherever you're at in the ads manager. You could or in the in the in the, yeah in the ads manager. You can always just click the dots, and then we're looking for events manager. We're going to click on the events manager. And that's going to bring us over here to where the pixel is at. It's going to bring us over here to where, where we can see some data, um, different data sources. Um, and what we're looking for is the blue triangle to the left. Okay. That's what we're looking for. So all we're going to do is we're going to hover over and make sure you're in the correct account. Right. So depending on, you know, how, how, um, how, um, um, advanced or how how um, seasoned your your ads manager is you may have different you know accounts but make sure right here in the top right it says your right account make sure you're always in the correct account okay sometimes as you navigate the ads manager you'll be in a different account and you're like holy shit how did I end up there so always make sure you hit the drop down always make sure you're in that right account and all we're gonna do is we're gonna hover over the blue triangle and we're gonna click on custom conversions okay we're going to create custom conversion and we're going to name it. This right here is going to be um, 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 the name of the project, which is remote patient monitoring leads. Okay. Very, very specific. These are name the name of the campaign and the keyword is leads. These are people who actually filled out the form and landed on the thank you page, right? We're gonna get the thank you page link, we're gonna copy that, and we're gonna simply drop it down right here at the bottom. Now, as we do that, what we also wanna do is we wanna, we wanna make sure that this is all correct, right? We named it, we, we have the correct data source, which is the pixel. You always wanna make sure that that's green, that's lit up green, and then leave it at all URL traffic. What we wanna do is we wanna select our own category, and we wanna hit the drop down and come down to, these are all different um, 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 data points that Facebook can track for you. See, th these are all your standard events. Um, these are different events that are already you know, in here, and all we're, we're gonna do is just even get more specific and look for lead and just label it under lead. Okay, so now we have our, our, our link, we gave it a, a name, um, and we categorized it under lead. Okay, so now, I. I, I dropped my link right there. I'm going to click on create and we are done. Now, before we actually can, can, can get excited and start running these conversion ads, you're going to notice right here, it says inactive. What I'm going to do is I have to do two, two things. I'm going to come to the landing page and I'm going to refresh the page. And, and, and we can, again, we, we do this by simply, we, we refresh it, but then also, Again, the whole purpose of me having this Facebook Pixel Helper is so I can use it to test my own pages. I don't care about who's, search, who, who's tracking me with their Facebook Pixel. I, I have this installed to test my pages, right? So as I refresh it, I click on it, bam, there goes our custom conversion. So now it's actually showing up in the Facebook Pixel Helper. That's what we just created. So now as I come over here to the conversion tab in the ads manager, I also wanna refresh this. So right now it's inactive. If I go and refresh this, if all goes well, we should now refresh it and we should now see active. Bam. There it is there, you guys. That is now an active custom conversion. Now we are ready to capture as many leads as we can possibly afford. And now here's what the next step is. So as we come over here, we wanna hit the dots and let's go into the ads manager. And I'm gonna take you um, and show you the beginning part of an actual ad and where this now all ties together. So as we come into, into the ads manager, into the dashboard, all we wanna do is we wanna smash that create button, okay? Smash that green button. This is the ad setup. And you always want to run your ads from a desktop, from the ads manager. Stop trying to run ads from your cell phone or stop trying to run ads and boost posts from your business page. Come into the ads manager. And again, that was video number one. In video number one, I, I, I walked you through how to set up a business manager and went over the differences between a business manager and a simple ads manager. So watch that video. That's, that's part one. That's in the description. Um, because 
these previous three videos is what led us to where we're at today, which is video four, custom conversions. So again, smash the green button and make sure again in the top left, compliant healthcare solutions, make sure you're in the correct account. So now this is where the magic happens. And nine out of 10 times, you guys, after speaking to thousands and thousands of business owners since 2016, speaking to them on running Facebook ads and their experience and their, their level of experience, Nine out of 10 times, it's because, or, or let, me, let me rephrase that. After speaking to thousands of business owners, most do not see success with Facebook ads. And there's, there's mainly two reasons. Reason number one is they don't choose a correct objective. Reason number two, they don't stay consistent. And let me, actually, I'll just leave it at those two, at, at those two reasons. Those are the two top reasons that I've come across after speaking to thousands of small business owners since 2016 is that they, they're not running the correct objective and they're not staying consistent with their Facebook ads. They'll boost a post here and there. They'll run an ad here and there, but their, their custom conversion was never set up. They were never running the correct objective from the beginning. And, and their whole goal is to capture leads. But if they're not doing what I'm walking you through, they're not gonna be capturing leads no matter what, right? So the custom conversion is now set up. Now what we want to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to do it right from the beginning. We're going to click on conversions and we're going to, you can, you can name everything right here if you want. You can hit the drop down and you can name the campaign. You can name the campaign. You can name the ad set. You can name the ad. You can do all that right there. Or I can just simply click on, I, I'm going to leave that blank for this example. Um, and we're going to just simply come over to the next step. And we're going to depend on if you're if you're in real estate or if any of these industries apply to you credit employment housing or or political or politics then you have to make sure this is blue and and choose one of those right so in this example i'm going to give you simply the example on the ad set level which is which is what i call tab number two the middle tab new ad set this right here is where the magic happens, okay? And in video number five, which will be our next video, I'll take you from the beginning to end on how to even run the ad. But in this case, look, this is what we're shooting for. Now, not every time when you land here, this is gonna be here by default. Not every time you'll see the, the dot green. So most of the time, it's actually gonna be blank. Most of the time, you'll just see it red and there's nothing there. And if, if you see that, then just click and choose that custom conversion. That's it, this right here. Okay, that's all you gotta do is choose that custom conversion and then go about your business, okay? And in this case, yesterday's video, we went over custom audiences. What I'm gonna do always in, in, in this case is I'm always gonna retarget my landing page visitors and I'm always going to exclude my leads. So any, any, um, Custom audiences that I have set up around leads, I want to always exclude them, um, especially if this campaign has to do with the same type of product or the same type of ad. Um, I always want to exclude my leads, right, from ever seeing another ad. They've already opted in or they already bought my product. They don't need to keep seeing ads. So I'm going to always make sure I exclude them. I'm going to always make sure I include my landing page visitors. I'll also always include my my video viewers. So anyone who's watching my videos for X amount of time, maybe I'll always retarget them as well, right? So, so that right there is, is for sure your audiences, your custom audiences, but that right there, you guys, is your custom conversion. So make sure all that's set up. And then in video number five, which will be the last video, I'm gonna take you through a full-blown detailed walkthrough from A to Z of this actual ad that will be the next video and i'll see you guys there but make sure you watch each video in this four-part series so far um it's going to be a, a five-part total series but there's only this is the fourth video so make sure you watch the previous three or else this may not make any sense to you but again if you're in any type of business where you're looking to capture a lead from your facebook advertising this is what you want to be doing custom conversions um custom audiences your pixel and really running these ads the right way. Okay, so stay tuned, you guys. If you're dry, if you're getting any value from these damn videos, man, freaking click the thumb, man. Give me a like. 
comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. I'm David. I'm out here in San Diego building a social media agency and a digital marketing business. I'm fired up about Facebook ads. I'm fired up about YouTube. I'm fired up about social media marketing and just bringing as much value as I possibly can um, on this channel. I've been closing clients and building an agency since 2016 and just simply documenting day in the life of what I'm doing. That's what you're going to find here. No fluff, no bluff, um, no theory, just day in the life of what I'm doing and just and just trying to document it and bring as much value as possible. So give me a like, man. If you're not going to subscribe, freaking damn, click the damn freaking like button, if, if anything, man. Um, subscribe to stay in touch and, and drop me a comment below. Let me know what you guys are, are, are looking to learn. Let me know where you're coming from. Um, let me know how I can bring value to what you're doing online. All right, guys? So that's the custom conversion. I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.